In this video, we see how Civil Fort Unified Identity Protection Platform delivers real-time protection against the automated propagation of ransomware attacks. Ransomware attacks are top concern for enterprises today. These attacks typically include three stages. Delivery or initial access of the ransomware payload to a compromised machine, execution of the payload encrypting data files in the machine, and propagation in which the ransomware logs into multiple machines in the environment using compromised credentials. Once successfully authenticated, the ransomware copies itself to these machines and encrypts their data files as well. This extends the attack's impact to the entire targeted environment, potentially resulting with either full or partial enterprise lockdown. It is easy to see that the last stage, the ransomware propagation, is what makes the difference between a local event with limited scope and the critical business risk to the enterprise operations. However, this propagation is a blind spot for today's common security or identity management products that lack the ability to detect that such propagation is attempted and block it. As a result, any ransomware payload that succeeds in bypassing the delivery and execution security controls can propagate uninterruptedly within the environment and cause mass damages. Civil Fort Unified Identity Protection Platform protects against ransomware automated propagation by detecting its entailed malicious authentications and preventing them in real time. Let's simulate such ransomware attack propagation. We have two machines side by side. The left one, RD-16-1, is the patient zero machine to which the ransomware was initially delivered. RD-16-2 on the right hand is another machine in the environment. We've created a ransomware demo folder with two text files, documents and important. Click on the files, we can see that they are indeed valid data files. And we also have a ransomware script. Now let's run it. As we can see, it searches for network shares to encrypt within various machines in our environment. In a real life scenario, it would execute and encrypt all of them, but for the sake of simplicity, we've limited our demonstration to RD-16.2 alone. As you can see, the ransomware payload logged into RD-16.2, planted a copy in our folder, and encrypted the two text files, making their content non-accessible. Now let's see Silverfort's protection in action. Navigating to the Policies screen, we see the Ransomware Propagation Protection Policy. It's a risk-based policy that requires MFA whenever the user Iftach's risk score is medium or above. Iftach is my name, and for the sake of this demo, I will be the admin user whose credentials were compromised by the ransomware. Whenever my risk score will be medium or above, MFA will be required to complete my authentication and grant me access to resources. We've enabled the policy. In the investigation screen, we can see that Iftach's my risk score is currently set to low. Going back to the environment, let's try to reproduce the attack. The ransomware starts running and searches for network shares, but as we'll soon see, an MFA notification pops up. When I get this message, I block the connection, and as a result, the logon attempt fails. You can see that the text files have stayed intact. How did that happen? The ransomware attempted to connect with my credentials to multiple machines within seconds. Silverfort's risk engine identifies this anomalous behavior and responds by increasing the risk score to high. This triggered the policy we've just seen that required MFA and blocked the propagation altogether, meaning the damage is confined exclusively to the patient zero machine, RD-16-1 only. The ability to enforce risk analysis and MFA on Active Directory environments and access interfaces is unique to Silverfort and cannot be performed by any other product. This is the only way to deliver real-time protection against automated ransomware propagation and avoid its disastrous impact. Want to learn more on ransomware protection? Schedule a call with one of our experts.